everyone, um, welcome back to my channel. I have been trying to set this up for ages now. I just, this room, honestly, the light is so, so poor. I just said to Brian now, I need like a proper studio, you know, with one of those like overhead lights and things like that. And he just laughed at me and said, oh, should we get a whole film studio in there for you? Should we? I said, well, yeah, it would be ideal. But um, yeah, so I've got the blinds open, the light on, but the light is one of those warm lights. I really need to get a daylight bulb. I keep forgetting when I go to work. I've got my light box on in this direction, which gives off like, like UV light, which is really, really good. So I wish I could film it in there, but I can't because it's just like a little square box. Um, so yeah, so this is the best that I can do. I'm really, really sorry. Like I say, I, I need to sort out the daylight bulb before in here, I think, really, to get that brightness. Um, and I've been trying to sort of work it around so that you're facing like the same way as me. Now I am at an angle here, like my arms are here, I'm like here, and the camera's facing here, so I'm going to do everything at an angle. But I just wanted to come on and do a few project shares, so I'm sorry, probably going to be sick of me today. Um, I've been making quite a few things and just wanted to share them with you. But first of all, I wanted to show you how kind and generous some people are. Now, as you're probably aware, it was my birthday a few weeks back um, and I had loads of things. Um, I've had say, I've had some things off um, Mel, who is Melis Mix. Um, I haven't got them to hand here at the minute, but she sent me some lovely good goodies. Um, and then I received a parcel. It was a huge box and I hadn't been expecting anything. Um, and I opened it up and like inside was a beautiful letter and a card. Um, there's the card. Um, so yeah, so it was from a lovely, lovely, lovely lady called Celine, who is, um, I think she comments on YouTube videos. I don't think she's on YouTube. Um, I'm Facebook friends with her. And she, you would not believe what she sent me. Um, I was absolutely gobsmacked. I was so like ready to cry. It was unbelievable. I just, I couldn't get over it. I said to Brian, I said, I cannot believe that she sent me this. Um, anyway, she sent me a letter saying, thank you very much for your videos. Um, and that she cheered me speaking about trimmers and how I was getting really annoyed with my Fiskars trimmer. So um, she said she thought she'd send me this um to see if it would work and she sent me this it's probably going to destroy everything now but i'm gonna to have to put it in like that probably i'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it like that but it's the tim holtz tonic sort of guillotine one and obviously you've got the extendable arm in the back that comes out and makes it a 12 by 12. now i have got this one here which is my mini one and I absolutely love this one but I it only goes up to like six and a quarter inches so um for my 12 by 12 papers it's quite difficult so what I tend to do is use my fiscus to cut my 12 by 12 down and then use that then when I'm using smaller um but yeah she sent me this I mean can you believe it like how generous is that like I just couldn't get over it because like you hear so much in the news don't you like people can be so cruel and um you know and you just think i know i said to um i was texting laura and i said to laura like it's so nice to know that there's actually genuine kind people out there because you tend to forget with the amount of really bad things you hear in the news um and I, honestly it was just absolutely i was awestruck so celine if you are watching i am still awestruck I, it's fab i love it um thank you very very much it's definitely going to save me on blades on my fisker so yes, yeah, so this can get through a fair amount of paper. So again, right, another uh, little thing I want to say is if you can hear anything in the background, it's my kids. I've tried to tell them about 25 million times that mummy's going to video, but um, they're not listening. So if you hear them coming in or whatever, see, Lysia's just come in now. I was what? just getting a All right, time. all right, all right, all right. Shut the door then, please, behind you. Thank okay. you. Okay, so, um, yes, yeah, so that was the card and it says to Amy, thank you for all your videos. They have brightened up lockdown for me. Best with it, Celine. Oh, look, I, that honestly is absolutely fantastic. And she's, I was a bit like thing with videos. Like, it takes such a lot to sort of do them. I don't edit anything because I don't know how to do. Um, and then to upload things, it's, 
it's a really long time so it puts me off making videos but after she sent me that i thought oh my god well at least i've got one fan so <laughs> even if i do videos just for you celine um okay anyway the real reason i wanted to come up was to not the real reason but another reason i wanted to come up was to show you a project that i've been working on and now i'm open i like an edit um but jude's sister-in-law had a baby um seven pound one i think it was a uh, good baby girl and they called it evie and i had said that i was going to make some sort of album or something to for her and send it to her um so i have this is what i've made so it is i did follow a tutorial by a lady i'm sure her name is michelle i'll link her channel down below um she's fab she's a design team member for country craft country craft creations is that right um and she makes some lovely things i followed the tutorial there are things that i would do different if i was to do this again there are mistakes that i've made but i'm hoping that um jude's sister and i is going to be okay with um and yeah there are things that i would probably change and i have changed some of the layout to make my own sort of pages in there but yeah so i'll just show you so you can have a look anyway um so i used the first edition papers baby girl papers and um on the top here i just decorated it with some flowers some leaves on the bottom some hearts that i had in my stash and i pop popped a name up on um a chipboard because i've run out of foam and i put a name there and then this i don't know whether to put a magnet on there i probably will put a magnet on there but i've got no magnets at the minute so this opens up there and I thought she could just put a picture here and maybe do a little bit of journal in here. Um, I haven't put my place photo here bits in there yet because I was thinking of doing instead of place photo here, doing um, baby footprints. So I thought that would be nicer. And then that way, if you didn't want to put a photo there, you could still journal over and the baby footprints could like be in the background and it wouldn't just be like place photo here stamp. So anyway, so yeah, so that's my, um, this is the lid. So it's like a mini album in a box then, okay? And then around the edges then, I used this trim that I had off eBay. And it's like an organza trim. And I put it all the way around the box. Okay. So then this lid comes off. And there's the album so i'll keep you on the lid for a minute i'll push the album up there a second so when you turn this lid upside down there is a hidden little pocket in here and i think this is an absolutely fantastic idea because the album doesn't hold that many photos so it's, it's a proper sort of special one you would put your special baby pics in here it doesn't hold a lot of photos but the lady that i watched she um put a pocket in the lid of her box and I just thought that was an amazing idea. So this is magnetised. So it's a flip here. Now obviously you can add a photo on here if you wanted to. You can add a photo on here if you wanted to. But there's this pocket then. And this is a deep pocket. It's a half inch pocket. Like sort of deep, uh, deep. And then inside here I have got another little insert. And a photo mat. So you could put loads of things in here. I mean you could put um, memorabilia. You know, not memorabilia but... You know what I mean? Like um, they have those things from the hospital, don't they? So you could easily put it in a little packet and put it in there. You don't have to do the pocket. You could just do flips. You don't have to do anything at all. You would just keep it as a lid. But I just thought that was awesome because it's an extra place to put some photos. Um, and it's all like I say that's quite heavy in there, um, and it all stays intact with your magnets. I use the basic grey magnets. Um, so yeah, so in here. So if I just leave the lid like that, in here then, I made a little um, insert. Um, and it was one of the things I purchased from Paper Phenomenon. Uh, she did like five inserts. So I followed, I didn't really follow it because it, it's easy enough to put, put together. Um, but obviously it's her design. So um, it just opens like this with the tie with a bit of thread sorry and then opens up let's put this up here opens that way then opens that way and that way and there's photo mats there 
do a bit of journaling or do whatever she likes and then they all close up together and that goes back around i never know how to do these things properly so it's just like a bit of a, a mishmash so yeah so that was like so i thought you know there's an extra few photos there you know um i just thought that was a really cool idea and like i say you could put up a billion of these in there as well and um, this is, can hold a six by four photo so you can hold one on the back do some journaling on the front this is all like stuck down to the bottom um, you know at the top only so you can fit a photo underneath you so I just thought that was a really good idea because you can add extra photos so I will take you into the main album now okay so let me just check my time yeah I'm okay right Okay, so this is the main al album. So obviously it's like an explosion box and they come down. And yeah, look, I tip that one on upside down. Stupid. But um, yeah, I have been doing this mini album sort of going on into the morning, like two o'clock in the morning every night for the past couple of days. So yeah. Um, so this one is just a, the first page here. So they're all connected to this side here. So this page here is a um, the first page and it, it's tight. It's closed down with a ribbon and this is some satin ribbon I think from Stampin' Up um, so you've got there uh, you've got a photo mat here and again everything is just glued down at the bottom so the photos can go inside I had to do a lot of piece patching on this album because I only had about I would say less than half a pack of um, the paper pad so um because i'd already started making a mini album and i got really bored of it and i wanted something really cool so i started this one and of course i didn't have a lot of paper so i had to sort of piece and patch bits and bobs also i tried to use pink cardstock but i realized because the light in here is so ridiculously annoying i'd use different colors like different shades of pink so you'll probably see that halfway through and i told you and i was like i'll tell her i'm not stupid honestly it's just the, the shade of pink is slightly different on some of them so anyway so that opens up there this one opens up on this side and this is like a waterfall page so i've put the decorated paper on the top so again if she wants to put a photo on there she can and these are what can all hold like six by fours and then i've put the actual photo mat on the back there and again these all um tab up on, i just glued on the side there so that's that one and um, that photo map there with cute as a button and these are all some of the they give you like a, a few little bit tags and circles and things from the collection so i want to go back over and i'm probably going to use my stickles to um glitz them up a little bit so that opens up like a gatefold and then i like i said i didn't have full papers of things so i had to sort of piece this one but these all hold like i think it's four by four four by four um and then they are three by three three by three and again, nice blank spot there. And then that closes back up like that with the ribbon. And that one turns around. And then inside this photo mat here is a big photo mat. So you can put your photo here and a little pocket there made with a paper. paper. And inside is a 4x4 and a 3x4. And again, I'd probably put like baby footprints on the back of these. But I think she does um, some scrapbooking and things, so she's not going to, you know, not going to completely not know what, how it works or whatever. Okay, so this one is where I, this is in the tutorial that she does. She does this page. Um, I then decided to do this page by myself um, and sort of, it worked out really well, I thought. Um, so I done a sort of gatefold with two corner pockets. So... The photo mats close the gatefold. So you've got a three by four here and a six by four here. Okay, all blank on that. And then they shut that gatefold. And then that gatefold opens like that. And again, six by four, three by four, three by four. And again, some of the, and all of these are like just stuck in the middle. So I really like that sort of closure because I was trying to think of closures that I didn't have to use magnets for because I've ordered some but I haven't got I've got, I think I've got like one left so yeah so these just go in there it's a lot in there to sort of close it up and then on the back of this page is just a normal photo mat with a bit of the 
paper from the collection there with the I just cut it so that the rocking horse was showing and then this one again was a different sort of design in the design she does um, like a gatefold style so this comes up here and it goes down here okay now in hers she does it the opposite ways she flips them now I didn't want I wanted some more sort of landscape photos because obviously there's not a lot of landscape photos in here um, so I decided to do up and down but I think that might have been a little bit of a downfall because um, well, there's a format there there's the, the horses there so it sort of joins on and these are all again stuck in the middle so when you do this and that when you turn the page because these are quite close to where the page turns You've got to sort of fold them in to turn. Does that make sense? Otherwise, if you don't, it sort of sticks like that. So I think if I'd have done it that way and that way, it probably would have turned a lot better. So I would probably change that up for the next time. And in hers, she only does three pages. And I thought, right, I better just do three pages. But I could have easily fit in another two there. Um, I could have fit in another one and then back that one on the top so I probably could have fitted another two but I didn't have enough paper so if I do it again I would probably add another page and then put another page on top of that um, to make it that more much you know so for more photos so like I say this is going to be like a special album so it's only going to be certain, certain amount I mean, it still holds a fair amount of photos but it's you know it's not not huge huge amounts then so in here then I just did a pocket on the back and then I put in a, a gazillion photo mats, so 6x4, 6x4, 3x4, 3x4, and again, all of these are plain on the back. Um, and you can put in loads more, there's lots more room in there, so you could put in like photos just on their own if you wanted to. Um, and then that all closes back up like that. And the sides then are just the doll with the pram, I don't know if you can see that. There, like that, and then on the bottom, I, again, see, like I had to do piece of paper because I didn't have a full piece. I also messed up as well. I was gonna wrap it with white ribbon, but I didn't like the way it looked, so I actually cut the ribbon out. Um, you can't really tell, but yeah, I did cut the ribbon out. So yeah, so that is my um, little box mini album. So I'm hoping that she is gonna really like it. Um, I, yeah, like I say, I've been watching this lady now, she's, she's amazing, this Michelle, um, and I want to do a, a few more of her projects, so I will probably be coming back on to do that, but again, I messed up a little bit there as well, because look, if you look, the direction of the paper was sort of, even though it goes sideways, it was sort of this way, so I needed the front to be like that, but of course then I put my pocket in like that, so you just got to flip it the other way. So again, there is things that I probably would have changed, but I'm really happy with how it turned out for my first go anyway. And again, I was running out of white cardstock too, so I've had to order loads of things. Because I don't generally tend to use a lot of white, so I didn't realise that I was that low. But yeah, and I just really love that trim because I think it sort of closes it all off and it's really, really nice. And it wasn't expensive, I don't think. I think it was about £2 something for... A meter so I've still got a little bit left um, and I put all of it on with hot glue so it should stay stuck obviously the only thing is because I've got all the trim on the bottom it's uh, a bit more difficult to close and there we have it so I hope you like it um, give me a comment see what you think and I'd be really appreciative of any comments or any likes or anything like that um, I shall be coming obviously you know my videos have got like 25 minutes which is really stupid because otherwise I could fit them all into one um, but I'll be coming back on in a minute now to show you some other things that I've been making and I've also got some things that I'm going to be selling over on my Etsy shop okay so I shall see you in a bit thank you very much for watching thanks bye